Hello, this is Lino Tadros from Falafel Software. I'm very excited to share with you one of the first uh, Mono Touch uh, videos on this exciting new technology available from the Mono team from Novell. And I'm just going to go ahead and jump into it right away and show you what you can do by writing iPhone applications in C Sharp. And um, this is Mono Develop here. This is a free product that you can actually download. The iPhone um, Mono Touch framework is not actually free. It's actually a commercial project that you can buy from uh, the monotouch.net website. But in Mono Develop here, I'm going to show you how to write an application for the iPhone in C Sharp. We're going to create a brand new solution right there. We click on the iPhone Mono Touch project. We can give it whatever name we want. We'll call it, for instance, Falafel test forward we don't need to use any packaging on user integration for right now and there is your solution created there is a falafel test in here all the references there is a main.cs file I'm gonna double click this file you will actually notice in here in the code that um, uh, it's all C-sharp code so that's amazing by itself <laughs> um, for those of you who have been using uh, Objective-C in Xcode, that definitely works for a lot of people. Um, it's a capable language and everything. Uh, for those of us that are actually using C Sharp for a long time, or other languages uh, before that, uh, it seems a lot more natural to continue working with the C Sharp language. So I think um, both camps will be happy with what they have. Um, for us, I believe that will be a lot more um, productive. Uh, anyway. Uh, in here, you'll notice that uh, we're using actually um, regular main, the UI application dot main coming from the uh, UI kit to be able to start the application. There's an app uh, delegate uh, where you will override the uh, the procedure for finish launching for the application itself, whether it's on the simulator or on the device itself. Um, so all the stuff is uh, boilerplate code. Uh, in the future videos, we'll show you how to change some of this code in here. If you want to show, for instance, like a splash screen in the beginning of your app and so on. For right now, we'll just use it as is. Notice it also created um, the first main window for the application. It has an extension XIB, which is a good decision on the uh, mono on the side of the mono team, not to uh, spend a lot of time building their own user interface for development. Um, and an IDE for, for the user interface itself. Uh, they just piggybacked on the interface builder that comes with the uh, iPhone SDK inside of the Xcode and, um, and all the other uh, tools that come with from Apple itself. So that's a, a good thing, I believe. For this main window, if I double click on this XIB file, you will notice that it will actually open up a brand new, uh, I had it running already, so I just created um, a brand new XIB main window in here. You'll notice that the first window has the app delegate and all the information about um, uh, the window and everything in the application itself that you will need. Uh, if you create more windows, of course, they will all show up in here. There is two windows here I wanted to explain. The first one is the library on the uh, right side of the screen. This contains all the Cocoa Framework um, uh, components and controls available for the iPhone. Um, so table views, image views, uh, picker view, date pickers, segmented label, buttons, switches, sliders, everything you can imagine that's available from the Cocoa framework for the iPhone is available for you in here. And it also gives you uh, this um, canvas area to work with, which is the window itself that will show up in the iPhone. So let's go ahead and, and start actually playing with that for a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and drop this rectangle, uh, round rectangle button in here. We'll go ahead and give it a title, for instance, like Click Me. Actually, it's not Click Me anymore. <laughs> it's uh, uh, Touch here. <laughs> There's no mouse in this framework. So we'll, we'll um, go ahead and do that. And there is my rounded button in the, um, in the UI. Okay, let's go ahead and drop a label in here as well. And for this label here, we'll say Hello. And um, right now, your, your inter, interface builder file is ready. You can compile that. It will not do anything, of course. Uh, notice that in the attributes for the, any of the components, they all, you can change the colors, the shadows, all the beautiful stuff that you can do on uh, Mac um, is available for you for the iPhone as well, right inside of here. 
All right, so now we're going to get to the part where it's just a little bit, um, uh, what's the word, a little bit ugly, <laughs> but uh, we will, I have no problem actually getting used to it, uh, just how easy it is to write C-sharp code for the iPhone, I'm willing to pay the price for that. And that piece is actually, uh, when I drop this button and this label, I expected them automatically to be available for me in the code. But unfortunately, um, the system doesn't know anything about these two guys yet. So if I go to my app delegate, you will notice it in here that there is something called outlets. And the outlets is for each and every control you want to talk to in the code. So it only created an ID for the window itself, but my button and label are not there automatically. So I have to click on the plus sign, give it whatever name I want, like button, for instance. I'm going to create another one for the label. And again, although I created now uh, two new outlets, uh, the system has no idea what these two things are hooked up to. So I'm going to go to my app delegate in here, and you will notice that my outlets are right there, but they're not hooked up to anything. So I'm going to take my first outlet that I created called button, and I'm going to drag this to the button. Now they are actually related together. And my label, I'm going to drag it and click on hello. All right, I know a lot of Mac people looking at this saying, yep, this is the way to do it. And a lot of uh, Windows people are probably throwing up right now. But hey, I'm just kidding. Um, it's okay. I'm willing to pay that price, although this is, should be something done automatically. But that's okay. It's not a big deal. Stay calm, everybody. All right. We'll uh, go ahead now and try to, uh, to see what I can do with this. If I go back to my code, let me go ahead and save this IB file, XIB file. We'll say uh, save right there. And now let's go to the code. Now, automatically in the code, you'll notice when I say button, it sees that there is a button available. It sees that button, and I say dot, and I can implement my event for the touchdown, and there is my touchdown event. And I can create a delegate for that, and there is a delegate. Of course, I can actually create another function called button touchdown or whatever, and it will create another um, procedure so I can actually... Um, um, get multiple events to call the same, the same function. In this example here, I'm just going to create a C-sharp 3.0 feature, which is creating an anonymous delegate to write the code inside of here. So there is my label in here that I created as an outlet. Dot, we'll change the text of this guy, and we'll say, hello from Falafel. All right, and this is everything that is needed to be done to hook up this, uh, this guy from. I'm going to go ahead and build this application right now. And once this is built, notice this, we are compiling right now to uh, ARM code, not to IL code, okay? So this is very important to be, um, um, to adhere to the um, specification and also to the licensing agreement of the iPhone SDK and to run application on the iPhone. We cannot run anything that um, allows scripting or allow reflection or anything to be compiled after the fact. So all the stuff has to be taken out. So the Mono team at Novell um, automatically changed a little bit of the capabilities of the .NET framework so that it will compile immediately to ARM code. And some of the code that you are used to for doing reflection, uh, some of the code in WCF, for instance, some of the code in generics, not all of it, will not be available because of these uh, different things. Okay, But you're still going to have very, very powerful uh, framework writing code in C-sharp to do all that stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and say run. You will notice that the um, iPhone simulator will start. There is hello, there is touch here. We click on this guy, hello from Falafel. All right, our first app has been written. Now you can go ahead and take this as is, uh, put it on the app store for 99 cents and make a lot of money like everybody else. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm actually um, going to be creating a lot of videos coming uh, forward with this especially for the part that I'm interested in, which is uh, connecting my iPhone application to WCF application using RESTful services and that receives its data from, for instance, like SQL Server 2008 and so on, and uh, show you how to do all that kind of stuff regarding uh, RESTful services from here. I just wanted to uh, create the first, uh, the first iPhone to show everybody how to do that and show how easy it is. And believe it or not, it is worth going buying a MacBook Pro <laughs> and sit down and start writing some code. It's a lot of fun. Congratulations to Miguel and the Mono team at Novell. And I will uh, uh, see you soon, folks, writing um, more videos and uh, doing some more C-sharp cool stuff in Monotouch. Have a good one.